Rain gauges are an excellent way to keep track of the rainfall that your yard receives during the week. You can use this knowledge to help you cut down on your irrigation, helping you save loads of water. How do they work? It's a pretty simple process actually. You want to place your rain gauge either on a post or staked in the ground in an unobstructed area. So watch out for trees, buildings, and other features in your yard that might block rainfall from reaching your gauge. Once you have your spot picked out, all you have to do is install it. You can either use some screws to help secure it onto your wooden post or fence, or you can just push it down into the ground like this. Florida turf grass only needs a half to three quarters of an inch of water per week. That means you can turn off your irrigation system or skip watering your outdoor plants on weeks where you get a significant amount of rainfall. To read your rain gauge, use the lowest point on the curve of your collected rainfall. This is known as the meniscus. For instance, it looks like we got about 0.3 inches of rain. While that might be just under a half an inch, we might get more rain later this week, so keep an eye on the forecast. You can use a notepad to keep track of measurements after each rain event. Just remember to empty out your gauge after you're done. If you get three quarters of an inch or more of rainfall, you can absolutely turn off your irrigation system for the week. Remember, every bit counts when it comes to saving our water resources.